Welcome back to Upper Michigan today, everybody. We're talking with Chris Van de Zandy about her recent feat completing 50 marathons in 50 states. She's part of the 50 States Marathon Club with a fancy dancy trophy right there. And what's really cool about this is it's this experience is coming full circle for you. You're running the Fox City Half in September. That was your first one. That's going to be a special reunion yeah, for you. What, what can you? What are, what are you expecting from that? Um, just to hopefully get a few people from the club uh -huh. that are there and um, celebrate with them. They present a trophy at our meeting or reunion. And just to do Fox Cities again, because mm -hmm. it's been since 2005 that I've been there. And it's drivable, so mm -hmm. my husband can come with me. <laughs> well, congratulations Thank you. for that. You get to have a fan base coming with you on the yes. road. Now, in the last segment, we actually saw a picture of your uh, license plate it says slow runner so I take it that doing these marathons it's not necessarily about how fast you can be about meddling what what is it ab about it for you I think just accomplishing the feat mm -hmm. I've always wanted to run just to keep a level of fitness uh, going and uh, just being able to finish it I guess it is quite a small population that does a marathon particularly in 50 states but I'm surrounded around people mm -hmm. who've also done it many times um, so I don't think it's that special, uh, but the experience of, of doing it and being with those people and there's always some unique event mm -hmm. or something that happens, whether it's good or bad, mm -hmm. that uh, makes the experience so much va more valuable and precious. But no, I'm not for time. <laughs> I'm quite a slow runner. Uh, some races are, my first one was my fastest. so. I just continued to get slower as I aged, and I'm excited when I can break five hours. So. But you know what? Good for you, though. I think that is yes. such an impressive feat. You're still running, feat. you know. Right. That's yeah, so much more absolutely. than a lot of us are doing. And you said, you, you know, it's not, not that impressive. You're surrounded by these people every day. It is so impressive. That is so cool. Really and you is. deserve the round of applause. <laughs> I just think that is so cool, Robert. Oh, no, same here, same yeah. here. You know, I was mentioning before, I said, you know, this summer I've been you know, trying to do a lot of new things and, you know, taking running as a more serious form of exercise. You know, yes. the first time you do it, you're like, ah, oh, I can do five miles. I got a good playlist, good podcast. Yes. And then a quarter mile in, you know, you're thinking, oh, my gosh, you know, at least for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not ashamed to admit that. But the thing is, again, it, it takes so much dedication again all 50 states mm -hmm. and the United States is a big country yes, <laughs> there's definitely. a lot to lot to see and a lot to run and all that you know and the fact again you don't have to be the fastest runner mm -hmm. you know we're not competing in the Olympics but it's that the fact that you go there and that you do it and you know all the while there are people who look at you and think well hey listen if she can do this Absolutely. I can set my own goals you know it doesn't have to be the same thing but that motivation exactly. you know it's a language that many people speak yeah I uh, have trimmed down how I train if you want to call it training and how I've run the last few marathons I do a walk run program because it's much more enjoyable to do it that way yeah. than to go out there and try to go really fast get injured in the process which I don't get a lot of actual running injuries because I I enjoy the run rather than trying to go for time. I mean, it's truly a testimony that everything is just what you make of it. You don't have to go into a marathon being this ultra runner, super fast, super fit, just, just to do it and to Absolutely. say that I can walk to the end if I have to. Mm -hmm. And then to leave with so many great memories. I mean, you have 15 scrapbooks full. What, yeah. are, what are some of your favorite memories of doing these marathons? Uh, well, I would have to say one of them was when my hu husband, which we met in 2011, we went to, he drove me to New Hampshire Marathon and on the way he asked mm -hmm. if we were going through Niagara Falls. I said we can and he proposed to me at Niagara oh, Falls on the goodness. way to the marathon. So. Um, that was a great experience, of course. Um, uh, Little Rock uh, was a great experience because they give you a huge medal, which I didn't bring out here, but I do have it. I'll <coughs> show you later. Um, but I also was very ill during mm -hmm. that marathon, so it took me a very long time. But I was with a great friend, and it was a, a very fun party marathon kind of mm -hmm. thing. And Tulsa, Oklahoma was one of my favorites too. It was very cold. We drove 1,400 miles south thinking it's gonna be warm and mm -hmm. it was colder than Marquette. <laughs> And yeah. it, I kept all my clothes on and my gloves and my buff and my hat. Uh, it did have the first fireball shot um, <laughs> at mile 20. And that warmed me up and gave me motivation. And then there was a jello shot at mile 25 to, at the center of the universe, which made that my first ultra marathon and my only ultra marathon because it was 26.8. 
So it's over a marathon, mm -hmm. that's an yeah. ultra. <laughs> wow. So that was my first and only ultra. Um, but yeah, we had a jello shot there, so and that was then, great. Hey, I gotta be writing this stuff down. Right here, <laughs> yes, you know? exactly. Talk yes. about motivation. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> because then that fireball shot at mile 20 became a ritual for you. And yes. we have to take another commercial break, but when yeah. we come back, I wanna talk more about uh, some of those rituals. Actually, before we go to a commercial break though, I just wanna show our audience uh, this kind of memorabilia wall that you have at your home. Oh, you very yes. proudly display yes. your magnets. Your, these are all of the scrapbooks, yes. all of the memories yes. you have. I just think that it's really cool that you get to collect these, display them, and uh, yep, pass them my, All my medals. You can't see all of them, but... Uh, that's, that's a lot of them. Yes, it's a lot of them. That's <laughs> 50 right there. <laughs> well, Anyway, when we come back, more on that fireball shot at mile 20, some of those routines and rituals sure. that get you motivated in the morning. Awesome. Great. Thank you.